I don't think too many people tell the truth about marriage. I think for many people, they see marriage as this imaginary thing, a thing to where you can place little effort into it and somehow it will go well for you. To be quite honest, and I think for many people, if you get married, and I guess it really depends on who you marry, you may encounter much more problems with being married than when you were single. Some people may marry because they think inside of their mind that marriage is going to make them happy or give them more happy memories or something like that. There you go again. I believe for many people, they have very bad memories from marriage. That is what I believe. So some people may want to get married because they feel like they are going to receive something like they go into it or they may go into it to get and not really think about probably to give and i truly believe that is the wrong type of attitude i believe in marriage is another test See, I think this is one of the reasons why they probably need to stop making romantic movies and stop making these romantic uh, novels and books and stuff if it is not going to be based on truth. I believe marriage is another test. You may ask me, Uncle Kev, a test of what? I believe it is a test of being selfless, not selfish. So pretty much dying to your ways and becoming more of a, I would say, a cooperative, humble, and meek person. I believe one of the reasons why there is so much divorce is because of selfishness. Some people may think to themselves, hey, I watched a movie and it was about love, like the man looked at the woman, the woman looked at the man, and they fell in love and they had a child. Yes, maybe some arguments, but a happy ever after. I believe in many cases, marriage is not like that. From, from what I understand of it, you have to place much effort into it. If you say you want to be married, or if you say you want a successful marriage, if you want it to be successful, you have to place much effort into it. Since I don't know all marriages, I would say that much marriages takes work. You can't just like, hey, I like you, you like me, let's get married. And because we like each other right now, it is all going to work out. <laughs> From what I understand, it usually doesn't, like, it doesn't work out that way. From what I understand. Like, have you actually lived with a person, not saying your mother and stuff like that, but have you, and I am not saying to do this because you should not live with your boyfriend or girlfriend and stuff like that, but if you have lived with them, for like a year or two, you will probably know that probably in many cases, like 
there may be many disagreements and and um other stuff that may occur if you are married or before you were married okay the man is a certain way and the woman is a certain way so chances are the two people won't be exactly the same so you are placing two people together under one roof so the man may be used to a certain thing a woman may be used to a certain thing so when they live under one roof i believe there will be so much disagreements probably if they don't deal with it in the right way chaos may reign for instance um, this may be small examples but let's say that you are the man and you are used to having the toilet seat up but the woman is used to having the toilet seat down and that may cause i guess uh, disagreements or confusion another example the man may like organization in the home things to be organized and the woman may only an example and the woman may like to lay things all over the place not really organized and that may cause confusion getting married is more than just liking the exterior of a person and this is one of the reasons why i think it is very i don't want to say particular word but i think it is very unwise to only marry a person based upon how their exterior look what if there is a woman or a man that is very handsome or very beautiful but they have a nasty attitude. They love to insult you and talk down to you. They are very greedy and rude and whatever else. So you should marry that person because they are beautiful? How insane is that? I believe the thing that you should do is base things on their personality. Like, hey, I am Christian. Are you Christian? Hey, um, these are my goals. What are your goals? Like, what you want in life, is it similar to mine? Hey, I'm looking to do this and serve God in my life. What do you plan on doing? Like, if, if I am serving God, it would be very unwise for me to pick a, a woman who is an atheist.